Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a video for you guys today that I've been wanting to do for a while, but I knew it was gonna be a little time consuming beforehand, trying to get everything like situated, but I actually made some purchases with some new perfumes. So I just figured I might as well combine it into one big video doing my perfume haul and just a collection video of all the perfumes that I have in my collection. You guys know I'm a Bath & Body Works lover, so I have a ton of fragrance and I rarely reach for my perfumes, but um, perfumes are just something that I like to reach for whenever I'm going out to dinner or on a vacation or anything special. Um, I do try to grab for my perfumes, even though it's still very l unlikely that I will grab for them because I usually am using a body mist from Bath & Body Works. Um, excuse my egg head, but like my hair is so greasy and we're just doing this, okay? I haven't braided my hair in literally forever and when I put my ponytail behind, it looks not the cutest, but it's what we're going with today, okay? Um, so I have like a lot more than I thought. So I feel like this video, like my body cream video, my body cream collection video, um, kind of being like kind of holding myself accountable is like what I need. I need to talk about these things and put them all out in front of me to really like understand that I have perfumes, I need to use them. Um, there are days that I have off work and I make plans. Very rarely, a lot of my off days are spent like today, just in yoga pants and a crew neck hoodie, just chilling at the house, getting chores done, cleaning up, whatever it may be. Um, but whenever I do make those plans and whenever I have something special that I look forward to, I need to be reaching for my perfumes, one, to use them up, and two, to just enjoy them. Um, perfumes have a pretty long shelf life from what I'm, from what I know, but honestly, I don't have much experience with perfumes because I don't wear them. Um, I'm not very good at differentiating scent notes, but... Perfumes are just a lot of fun and you can still mix them with your body mist and I have a difficult time doing that because I'm not used to wearing them so I don't know how to mix them but I, I'm just so excited to show you guys the perfumes that I purchased because I just never buy perfumes because they're expensive and pretty much because they're expensive um, but I have like minis, I have travel size, I have just an array so I'm so excited to show you. And there are Bath & Body Works perfumes included in this video, which is really exciting. Jared's probably gonna come in the house because whoever he was talking to just left, but it's fine. Okay, what I'm gonna show you. These are perfumes that I purchased. Now, stick with me, okay? These are perfumes that I purchased from Salvation Army, okay? Salvation Army is a thrift store. Um, it's my favorite thrift store, the one that I go to the most, but I've been getting into um, kind of, well, one, reorganizing my closet and two, just, I, I went to three thrift stores um, this week that on a day that it was like super nice out and I'm so glad that I did that because I found these, um, but I've been getting more into like my style that I don't have, but trying to create a style and try to create a capsule wardrobe and just, you know, spend less money but also if I'm gonna spend money, invest in nice pieces, like stop buying from American Eagle and these stores that are at my mall that is literally so run down. Um, Cause that's really all that I can get, but like buy online, try things and you know, expand what I have in my closet. So I'm also doing that by going to the thrift store. I wanna do it more often because it saves me money. It's a fun activity. And even if I don't find anything, it's still just a really fun time. So my Salvation Army has been getting Zara clothes for a long time. Um, I remember when I first went and they had a whole collection of stuff. I bought so many pairs of jeans, which was stupid because I don't even think I tried them on. Uh, I just went crazy. And I can tell you, I have not worn a single pair of those Zara jeans that I bought. Um, I got them for a really good deal and I still have a lot of them in my collection, like in my closet, but they're just not comfortable. And I fluctuate my weight and the size of my jeans all the time like i go anywhere from like a two to a freaking eight like my body it's like my my whole family is like that my sister my mom we just fluctuate our weight so bad so it makes it extremely hard to find jeans but when i do have jeans like i want them to be comfortable because yeah i can't just have these standing jeans if you know what i'm talking about but this was the first time and i go to salvation army i'd say probably like 
every other month roughly like i probably say I go like six times a year i'm gonna try to increase that because i found a lot of good stuff um at all the thrift stores that i went to i found something at every one of them um and i don't live in an area that has a lot like literally three is like all we have but this is the first time i have found zara perfumes which is what i'm going to show you i literally my heart like sank when i saw them i went into the store about 30 to 45 minutes before they were gonna close and I literally saw that table and I was like, you know what? And it was after I already did a walk around and I didn't find anything clothing wise. When I saw that table of Zara perfume, I was literally like shaking in my boots. Okay. Backstory. When Jared and I went to New York City, we went to Zara. I picked a perfume out that I liked. And you know, he's very like particular. He's like, oh my gosh, that smells awful. Like super dramatic when it comes to the sense of perfume. Um, but I really wanted this one perfume and their perfumes, the big bottle retail for about $35.90, I want to say whenever I looked it up. Um, and I almost purchased one, but I'm like, you know what? I don't buy, I don't buy perfume regularly. This would be something fun to purchase and it's not super expensive because it's like a huge bottle, but I ended up not getting it. I think the line was really long and I was just like, I don't really need it. So I put it back. Purchasing these, I'm so happy that I didn't buy that because I'm pretty sure the one that I wanted, I hauled in this, you know, little tray here that I got. It's actually a shoe box that they put them in. So let's just get into it, okay? But I'm so excited because these perfumes, Zara is still selling online. Not all of them, but a lot of them. I looked them up, I was doing my research, and I just like was so happy. So I took the sticker off all of these, but every single bottle they had was the same price. So no matter what size, there was one fluid ounces that were the same price as like six fluid ounces. When I tell you these bottles are massive, some of them, and I took all those tags off and just put them together because I felt like it like ruined the look of the bottle, which like I haven't even showed you guys yet, but um, they were all $5.99. $5.99. I was low-key hoping they were half off because their clothes are usually half off, but they weren't. But regardless, $5.99 per perfume. I just, there was a whole table. So of course I grabbed like the biggest ones first and smelled them because that's where you're going to get the most bang for your buck. Why would I buy a one fluid ounce for $5.99 when I can get a six fluid ounce for $5.99? So that's the kind of the route that I went, but I kind of like went from biggest to the smallest bottle because if I really, really like the scent, a one fluid ounce for $5.99 is still such a good deal. Like that's just such a good deal. So I ended up getting 10, okay? So there's 10 stickers here, but $5.99 for 10 and 10 perfume bottles. I spent a total of like $64 or something, like with tax or something. It was like 60 something. So that's not even the price of like two full bottles. And I got 10. Okay, let's just let's just get into it. So the first one, like these bottles are literally massive. They didn't come in a box or anything like that, but I, I don't care. I don't care. I'm pretty sure that the perfumes when you buy them from Zara do have a box, but I'm sure they were probably smashed, damaged, whatever. So, okay. It's so hard to see the writing on the bottom of these, but I'm pretty sure some of these are like six fluid ounces. I mean, I don't, I don't even care, but huge okay like i am a five foot eight girly okay and so if that gives you any reference like they're literally the size of my hand they are huge okay that's crazy so i the writing on this one's awful so i have to show you a different one to try to figure out the exact fluid ounce this first one though is zara red temptation and i remember smelling these in store when i went to new york city like i remember these the names of these and like I just can't explain how excited I am. So they have the lid. There's, I gotta get like Gooby gone and get the rest of the stickers off the top of these. That's the crappy part, but I get they have to do that so that people aren't like switching around stickers and stuff. This smells so good. And like I told you, I'm not good at picking out different scent notes or anything like that. But this, and Jared liked most of these. I think there was only two that he didn't like. So I just did so good. I'm so excited. Literally, they were announcing like, this store will be closing in 10 minutes. This store will be closing in five minutes. Like I literally was going crazy taking every little bit of time to smell as many of these as I could. I'm glad that I stopped at 60 though, because I was like, I wasn't really planning on spending $60 today on perfume, but like, I don't regret it one bit. I don't, I really don't. This is so good. They're literally eau de parfums. Like they're going to literally, I'll probably, it'll take me 
probably 20 years to go through these because I have so many other perfumes but like literally I can just see like three sprays and this will last me all freaking day I actually there was one that I was gonna get it was like a um, unisex one and I put it on my hand and it smelled awful well then right after that I went to my allergy appointment and then I went to Goodwill after my allergy appointment and I could still smell it on my hand and when I tell you that scent like changed with my body chemistry it actually smelled really good. I mean, I'm not like super regretful that I didn't pick it up, but it did actually end up smelling really good. So that's another thing you have to think of is how they'll turn with your body chemistry. And even if like a couple of these end up not being great for me, I know a lot of girls in my life, not a lot, but like I know some girls in my life, they would be so appreciative for me to like re-gift this to them um, or re, you know, what am I trying to say? Like just give it to them if I don't like it on myself for $5.99 like I don't even care this is so good I'm so excited so yep Zara Red Temptation next I'm gonna go through I have multiple of this big size I'm pretty sure that this is the one that I almost bought in New York City I'm per or at least one of the ones that was like at the top of my list that I almost bought this is Zara Sublime Epic -E? I don't know E-P-O-Q-U-E Epicu? I have no idea. So this one, the writing's a lot better. Okay, this is this is 2.71. Okay, I'm telling you, there has to be a six one in here because I didn't pull that out of my ass. Um, uh, it says they're made in Spain. That sounds bougie. Okay, yeah, this one's 2.71 float ounces. Why do I feel like they're still bigger than that? I don't know. Okay, so this one, it has actually like a gunmetal top where this one had a gold top and like even the ring inside's gold. And there's one of these that like the ring pops off with the cap when I pull it off sometimes, but I don't even care. This one is definitely heavier on like the musk and gives you like almost a cologne scent. I know I describe so many things as like cologne or masculine, but this does have like a deep note to it. So this is very much for like nighttime. Um, I don't think I could wear this during the day. Red Temptation is just a lot lighter and I would reach for that during the day. Okay, next. this I feel like this is another one that was at the top of my list. Um, so this is Hipster Oud. Um, there's, I can't even read that. I was going to tell you how many mLs, but 2.71 fluid ounces is what we're saying. So Hipster Oud and this packaging is like a little bit different because like the Zara is down below. But yeah, and the liquid's different as well. The whole bottle, I think, is like a golden -y peach color. I don't know if it's the liquid or the bottle, but the I mean, the bottle is. I don't know what color the liquid is. This is beautiful. This is more vanilla and apparently oud. I like oud, whatever that is, because I have a lot of candles from Bath & Body Works with oud. Um, yeah, it's a scent that I clearly like. This this is this is very heavy on the like the vanilla musk. It's so good I love this one I love that like I can re-smell these like a lot of the times I'll go to my perfumes and I'll smell them all just because it's so fun to me okay this next one is Zara Red Temptation but the summer version so uh, we have just this one it just says Red Temptation and then this one is summer totally different I'm almost getting like a I don't know why cherry blossom is what's coming to my mind it just smells a lot different than this this has until like a musk note this is just more fruity and floral I guess they're very very different scent wise because I was kind of like hesitant I'm like red temptation they're both red temptation but even this one's like what is like kind of like pink tinged and this one's pretty clear so there's those we're at four so far the fifth one I didn't even, I thought I had two Red Temptation, but apparently I have three. This is Red Temptation Winter version. Um, I should look up the scent notes to these. Um, oh my gosh. It's just so good. This is so good. This has almost like a, I don't even know, but it, it's so much different than the other two. I don't know how to describe this one. Vanilla like a vanilla floral I don't know um really good and this one's like a yellowy tint so yes that was five of the 2.71 fluid ounces okay next I want to say this is the big one um 
Yeah, this says 6.0 fluid ounces. I'm so confused. Yeah. But I just feel like it doesn't look that much bigger. Okay, but this one, it says six fluid ounces. Okay. Um, this is Wonder Rose the, from the Zara Day Collection 01. Um, love this packaging. This is a big, big one. Okay. The lid is like really cute too. This is so good. This is Jared's favorite. And I'm glad it's his favorite because it's the biggest one. Um, so we think... It just smells so good. It's not even straight rose because I was kind of hesitant on that. I I have found that I, I just like rose. I just have to own up to it. I like rose because I buy a lot of rose stuff from Bath and Body Works or whatever. I like rose and candle form. I, I clearly just like it. And I didn't think I was a rose person. This has rose apparently, but it's so much more than that. It is just so good. I can't believe I literally got this huge thing for $5.99. Like even if it's not Zara, just a perfume for $5.99. Like if I liked a scent in a thrift store, I would just get it. I would just get it. Okay. This is like the coolest one. And surprisingly, it's like, I'd probably say my least favorite, but it's just because it's so odd. And I feel like it's going to be so different on my skin chemistry because of the weird scent that it is. Okay. The liquid is kind of throwing me off, but it also like kind of matches. Um, the top is this pink color, but let's just tell you the scent. This is Cherry Smoothie, okay? You guys know I love cherry scents. I literally did a whole video um, talking about the Bath & Body Works cherry scent that they released with the pistachio for v Valentine's Day. Of course, the name's gonna slip my mind because that's how it works every single video that I film. Uh, but Cherry Smoothie, okay? This one is... 3.4 fluid ounces like that's what I'm saying how is this bigger than this I mean I guess because the bottles like are just so much different maybe there's just like more glass in this because like the whole bottom is glass but yeah this says that it's 3.4 fluid ounces this scent is so odd it literally smells like the the inside of a cherry pie so cherry pie filling And there's another note in there. It's just so odd. But I like love it. And like the I pretty much got like there was really only one of everything. There was very few that had duplicates. Like the one pink one I'm gonna show you, there was a duplicate of that, and I think there was a duplicate of one of these big ones that I got in maybe of the rose one but like a lot of them I got like the only one that was there. And this one was the only one that was there, and I just had to get it. It was so unique. And I love cherry usually, but Jared hated this one. Of course, I knew he would hate this one, so he don't like it. He did like this one though. Um, this is apple juice. Isn't that so, like it's just so cool. And it has like this light green tint. You can see it better with my hand behind it. But yeah, apple juice, also from the Zara Day collection. And this is 0 0.5. So this one was 0 0.1, this is 0 0.5. This one is three fluid ounces oh oh it's so good it's so good I wouldn't say it smells like juice I mean that's the scent name they gave it but it's like an apple um floral but not like a heavy floral like it's just a beautiful apple like light apple scent it's not very strong on the apple but you can kind of sense it it's just fruity and light, and this is gonna be so good for the summer. I'm so excited. Okay, the next one, this is Deep Garden. So of course we had to get a floral here. Sticker stick into the bottom. This is 3.4 fluid ounces. So the same size as the cherry one. And this one has a little light blue top, right? Is that blue? I think that's blue, it's not white. Um, and it has like a rose gold top. And it's not even a heavy floral. It's literally not even heavy. I don't think Jared really liked this one either. Or he maybe liked it. He was kind of on the fence, I think, if I remember correctly. It's so good. It's so freaking good. I, I still can't get over that I got all these. And I still just want to go back to see what else they have. I have a lot of sticker residue on this one. So this is the last one, okay? And they did have a duplicate of this. This is Hibiscus Zara Bloom 03. So maybe there was like a Bloom collection, like the Day collection. And this one was the third one. I mean, how can you say no to this packaging? The ombre, the pink top, like it's just so cute. This is three fluid ounces. 
gorgeous. This is probably the most like I just feel like I've smelled this before. It felt, it feels, or smells, what am I trying to say? It smells very like repetitive. Like I feel, I have a, a perfume that I'm going to show you that smells a lot like this. I just feel like this is a very generic scent, but it's fine because it still smells great and it's a perfume. And by smelling all these and one, like wearing that one that I sprayed on my hand and that literally was so strong. I just sprayed one spray on my hand and I swear like that would have been enough for like your perfume for the day um so if this has that like longevity and that powerfulness like that's already worth it because it smells just so good it's fruity it's I don't want to say light because I just feel like they're so strong and like they'll be so long wearing that I don't want to say it's light but it's not like overpowering the one that I sprayed on my hand that day was clearly overpowering but yeah this is the last one so I am just, I'm gonna put them all back in the box because I need to take them upstairs. But I just was so excited to show you guys those. And like, I don't know if people are super big in, well, I do know that they are because, um, what's that? Was it a Barbie one? I wanna say it was Barbie. Or am I thinking of, I don't know. There was some perfume that came out that was like, it got hyped up on TikTok or whatever and it was like sold out. So clearly, I mean, maybe it was just that one, but I feel like there are a lot of Zara perfume lovers. I've watched some videos, but yeah. I'm so excited about all of those. Now, this video has already been 22 minutes, but I have a lot more to show you guys. So we're just going to get into the collection part now. And I have, you know, kind of like three containers here, baskets, whatever you want to call them. The first one is everything's dusty. I'm just going to forewarn you, everything is dusty. We've been moving stuff from room to room, trying to get that room redone, which it's pretty much done now. It looks beautiful. Um... But yeah, I, I this is like a lip, I got this container from the dollar store, uh, or the Dollar Tree. This container has a lot of lippies, but it also has like my travel perfumes, and it also has like my mini sample perfumes. So let's just get into it so we're not here all freaking day. Um, a lot of them are Bath & Body Works and Victoria's Secret. So the first one is Fresh Getaway. I've already used up one of these, and I love that they're an actual spray and not a rollerball. So Fresh Getaway. I usually take these on vacation with me, but I have no vacations planned, so we'll see. Uh, I have one trip, I guess, because it's a bachelor bachelorette trip for my friend, uh, my one of my best friends, so I'll take them there. Uh, but that's not for like months. Um, Bear Rose, Bear Rose. Um, yeah, these are roller balls from Victoria's Secret. That smells really good. Like I said, Rose. I just have a lot of it in my collection, clearly. Next, Victoria's Secret Teas Cocoa Soiree. I feel like the lid was loose on that one. Uh, Victoria's Secret Very Sexy Oasis. Victoria's Secret Teas Candy Noir. I have a Summer Melody from Bath & Body Works. I have a full-size set of Summer Melody that I was like using last summer. And I, because I have no trips planned, like... I feel like I should just use it up, but I like love that scent so much. I can't believe I love it as much as I do because I just didn't think I would when it released, but I do. This is a Victoria's Secret, very sexy, but this is like, I don't, I don't know which one this is though. Cause like this is very sexy Oasis and this just says very sexy. So maybe there's just like an original, but yeah, this one and none of these have been used. Victoria's Secret teas. I feel like once I use them, I like just power through them. Victoria's Secret Heavenly Dream Angel. Victoria's Secret Tease Creme Cloud. I have a Bath and Body Works Into the Night. And another Fresh Getaway. And I think that's it for like those sizes. And then I'll just go over like these little minis that I get from like Ulta orders. Oh, I have another Into the Night. Okay. I don't have a whole lot of these, but... Um, I was like laying them on my counter and then I realized how many I had. Okay, I think two of these are cologne ones, I think. Well, yeah, it says gentleman on it. These are the Givenchy Gentleman Society. I feel like if I tell Jared to use these, he's not going to reach for them. But I need to give them to him because he's ain't gonna find. He's not going to find them in here. This is Alien by Alien Goddess by Mugler. So that's going to be a good one. Uh, Burberry Goddess. Ralph Lauren Romance Intense Fame by Paco Rabanne. Is this a cologne? I want to say it might be. Um, Hermes Tootie Twilly. I don't know. Um, this is Coach Love. 
Valentino Donna Borman, Born in Roma. I really wanted to get the full size perfume of this like probably two year, one or two years ago and I just never did. I probably don't need it. I don't care about it now. Um, and then lastly is Ellis Brooklyn Salt. So that is all I have here. These back. I love these little containers. I wish I would have bought more because I feel like I haven't seen them since. I have two of them. I keep pocket bags and stuff in the other one. Okay, now on to this basket here. Um, this is a um, Bath and Body Works Into the Night. And I was going to say I used it. I might have used it like once because like the wrappers off of it. And I've had this in my makeup bag. So I literally had to dig this out of my makeup bag. I pretty much like got everything, I think. I don't think I'm missing any perfumes. Um, I have a Kaoli Vanilla. Um, actually, I saw for BoxyCharm next month, there's a Kaoli travel size, like in this kind of packaging. I'm hoping that I get to choose that because I love Kaoli fragrances. I don't feel like they're as long wearing as they should be for how pricey they are. But I did get a little four pack of these um, from a girl I worked with. She posted them on her Facebook. She does that every now and again. She'll post like stuff that she wants to get rid of. And I got them for a very cheap price. I want to say I got four of them for like $12, $15, maybe $20, which is like really good deal. But this is the Vanilla 28. I think I've used all the other ones that I had and this is so good, so good. But yeah, I think I used the rest of them. I have two Clinique perfumes from, I think when I worked there. Um, they're the My Happy and they have like this whole line with different um, colors. This one's a Blue Sky Neroli and this is Peace and Jasmine. I've kept these in my car for years and I have yet to really use either of them. So I brought them in the house. Um, Okay, yeah, I knew I had two of these. The, oh! Uh, I'm just not realizing these are different scents. I thought I had two of the same. Okay, these are commodity perfumes. They're, you know, not super little. They're one fluid ounces, okay? Um, so this is commodity gold and this is commodity milk. And I just thought they were the same because I got one of these in my boxy charm, and then my friend at work who also gets boxy charm, and we like constantly are talking about like what our monthly picks are and what came in our box and blah 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 blah. And she has like been giving me stuff. Well, there's been like two things that she gifted me that she doesn't want, and one of them was a perfume because these are so expensive. Like, so it's so cool to have them because I literally got them. We're gonna say for free, but I did have boxy charm for one of them, and like I purchased the box. But yeah, I'm so glad that they're different. So I don't want to spray them because these are so strong. But I'm just so happy to know that they're different scents. Yeah, I can't really smell the difference in the packaging, but that is so cool. I'm so excited now. I didn't know they were different fragrances. Okay. I have one perfume from Away, Way, however you say it. This is Melrose Place, a rose perfume. Yeah, I don't know why I ever bought this because I bought this at Ulta for full price and I think I was going to return it. The magnetic top's cool. Well, that didn't work. I don't know. You can't really tell. Um, I think I bought it for full price. I don't know why. And then I just never returned it because I like don't need this, but it's rose and I like rose, I guess. Yeah, I don't know why I have this, but it's 1.7 fluid ounces. Um, this is a hair care brand. Why do I have a perfume of it? I, have, I really don't have an explanation for that one. Okay, this is dingy, grimy, dirty. It's got to go. Um, this is a coach perfume. It was in a project, so you know it's years and years old. Um, I don't know the name of it. It has this little thing. This has the worst, and I mean, it's so gross and dingy and like probably like rusting almost. Um, but the sprayer is trash. It smells like lemony. It kind of smells like pledge. I feel like it, it has to be turning at this point because it's so freaking old. But yeah, I want to say my mom gifted me this. Like she had already used it because this used to be her signature scent. And then I got it somehow. I don't know. This is like something I need to use up and I've tried to use it up. Clearly it was in a project, but I never reach for it because I hate the sprayer. Like I don't like it at all. Okay, next, this is so dusty. I'm just going to use this tissue here and wipe it off because it's that gross. I don't even want to show you. Okay, this, this has like a memory to me. Not a, like a, I don't know. It's just like a, a little memory. This is a Victoria's Secret perfume called New York. So I got this 
multiple, multiple SASs ago. Um, I got two of them, one for me and one for my mom because she has taken me and my sister and her best friend. Like we've gone to New York so many times growing up. Like that is like some of my most core memories um, just to go shopping and sightseeing for Christmas. And like, I just saw that they came out with, there was like a line of these and I had to get the New York one for her because I just felt like it was like such a cool birthday gift. I think it was for her birthday or maybe Mother's Day. Um, yeah, like probably five, six years ago. So I just bought two, like one for her, one for me. And I have never used this. Just like most of these perfumes I've never used. So yeah, I just gifted it to her because it just seemed very sentimental. Um, so yeah, she has that. I don't know if she's used hers up, but next is this Kat Von D before, like this is whenever I think they were selling the brand like and it became kvd so however long ago that was because there was like this huge clearance on their site this one they're all gonna be dusty guys i'm just warning you um i loved the packaging of these i actually had the white one in a smaller size because that's all they had whenever they were clearancing these out but i got it for a good deal whatever that deal was but yeah there was there's this one's this one wow is sinner and the other one was saint i believe yeah, this is just, it's good, I guess. I remember it being a lot deeper, so I'm glad it's not that deep. Like, I could wear this during the day. I, I wish I could spray all these, but I would smell like a, you know, you know. <laughs> the word I want to say should probably not be said. Uh, okay, I have a Victoria's Secret Tease Rebel. Who knows how long ago this came out, but I've had it forever, and I've actually had this in my bathroom. I've been using this, which is great. Um, surprise, it doesn't have any marks on it from being in a project. But yeah, I've been, I have been using this. So I'm hoping that this isn't an empties by the end of summer, maybe. I don't know. I've been using it. I have a Timu perfume. <laughs> this is Coco Daisy. It's supposed to be like Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. Um, yeah, it's like this cheapy little. Honestly, it kind of does smell like Coco Mademoiselle. I've, I, when I worked at Macy's, I would always spray Coco Mademoiselle on myself, but I would never buy it because it does not last at all, at all for how expensive the bottles are. So yeah, I got this at Timu whenever I first like found out Timu was a thing and I was like obsessed with it. Um, another perfume that I have been working on using up and now it's going to get harder because it's getting warmer out, but this is from Mix Bar. This is Vanilla Bourbon perfume um i've been mixing it with like a lot of my pumpkin stuff my my vanillas it's honestly not bad and i've actually been mixing this with my bath and body work stuff so i mean i have been combining scents i guess and making like you know whatever scent combinations i want to make uh so i have actually kind of been doing that so proud of myself for that okay this bottle is absolutely disgusting but we're just gonna show it where the tops of these went i have no idea this is Victoria's Secret, very sexy orchid. You've got, you, wow. I'm so tongue tied. Um, you guys have heard me talk about this on multiple occasions because this is my favorite scent ever. I love it. I love it so much. These bottles are so gross. Um, they're both pretty much full. I've used this one more. Um, this one has like wax on it because I dropped a wax warmer on this in my bathroom. So I should clean it up. But yeah, who knows where the tops are. I love this scent. I have two perfumes my mom bought me. I think both of these because I've loved this scent so much. So yeah, I have two 1.7 fluid ounces of these. I just love that scent, but I have it in body mist, body lotion, and I'm trying to use those up before I use the perfume, even though I could just use the perfume with them and get through it. This, this is going to be in my collection for a long time. I, I have used this. This is the Michael Kors Starlight Shimmer. Um, actually, I wore this one time when we were having like a party in the garage or like a little get together. And my one friend, she like realized what this was because she wears this too. So every time I wear it, I think of her, <laughs> which isn't a bad thing. Um, but it's just so strong and so dark. And like, it smells dark on her. And I just, I don't really want to smell dark. Like, it's just really deep. And even out of the container, it's not smelling awful strong. But I feel like on the body, it smells awfully strong. So I just, like, don't gravitate towards it. But I've tried to use it up multiple times. Like, I've tried to keep it out. I feel like I've used a good bit. Because I feel like this is not full. And it's a 3.4 fluid ounce. So, yeah, I got this at TJ Maxx. Who knows how long ago. 
another TJ Maxx find and another one with a memory. Um, and that's what perfumes are good for, memories. But I will also worry that things are going to get discontinued and then there goes your memory. Like it, you can never get it back. But these last forever. So like, I don't know, you know. This is Wild Bloom by Banana Republic. I got this at TJ Maxx and you might be thinking, why would you get that? Was it just cheap? Actually, my mom has had a Banana P Republic, Old Navy Gap, you know, the whole like brand umbrella of brands. She has had a credit card with them since I was probably 10 years old. So she has, when she would use that credit card for her bills or whatever, she would get bounce back like cash. Um, like Old Navy Cash or Gap Cash, whatever. And B Banana Republic is part of those stores. So she would always like try to find stuff for herself. And if she didn't find anything that she wanted, like clothing wise, she would let me and my sister use them because they would expire. Um, and she had actually bought me a perfume with that years and years ago. And I used it whenever I was in like middle school, high school. And I have like, I know that could be like bad scent memories, but like, I just remember like being young and like enjoying life. <laughs> like, I don't know, having like no care in the world, I guess. Not so much enjoying life, but just not having a care in the world. So when I saw this same perfume at TJ Maxx one day in the checkout line, which my TJ Maxx very rarely puts perfumes up there. But at this time, a couple, like I want to say I've had this for like two or three years and I've never reached for it again. But when I saw this, I was instantly like, oh my gosh, like, what are the odds that I find this? Because I'm sure it was a seasonal scent. I'm sure it was just here and gone. And I had it years ago. So I saw this and I had to get it. And I want to say I paid like $12.99 for it. So I actually want to use this this summer. Not necessarily use it up, but just use it. It literally just brings back like such scent memories. Like I just feel like young and like in the midst of summer going to curve games and to... um the beach or whatever I did but like yeah I don't know this is just such a nostalgic scent like the top doesn't even well I guess it might not I'm supposed to go the whole way down it's not supposed to go the whole way down it's just supposed to cover the top but like yeah wild bloom by banana republic interesting okay this I've actually used up multiple of these um I actually bought this this is not they released this when I was working at Macy's but I actually bought this from Ulta this, I don't have a name for you. It's very um, dusty. But this, I hate this bottle because it doesn't sit up. But this is a Lancome perfume. It's like the Tante Idol. Uh, that's what it is. Um, yeah, like I said, they released it whenever I worked there. And whenever I worked there, they had a plastic stand that you could hold this in. But like, what a stupid design. I mean, it's thin, I guess it's cute. But like, just stupid. Because it's like, lay it laying down. I don't, it's just so weird to me. This is a 3.4 fluid ounce. But yeah, I had uh, like other sizes of this. Actually, it's really pretty. I haven't smelled this in a really long time. But yeah, the packaging is just stupid. So like I'd like to use it up and I should because it smells nice. I also don't think that long comb perfumes last very long because it was another one. It's a very popular one. I can't even picture the bottle or know the name or anything. But there was one that I, it's kind of coming to me. It's in a pink bottle. I don't know, but I used to spray that one on myself all the time when I worked there. Um, and then this came out, but I used to really like it, but it also didn't have lasting power. I don't know. I just don't like get the hype with like super expensive perfumes because I just don't ever think they last. I would rather just get one that also doesn't probably last <laughs> for like $19.99 at TJ Maxx. But now I have these Zara ones, which do last. Anyways, um, speaking of TJ Maxx perfumes, this is so dusty. This is actually my most recent perfume um, purchase. So dusty. So these are like the perfumes that Urban Outfitters sells, I guess. But yeah, I got this at TJ Maxx for $19.99. I was looking at that at this while I was saying that. But yeah, I sometimes end up on like the perfume end of TikTok. And yeah, I was watching a lot of videos about this. I don't have an Urban Outfitters that's like in my town. They're like 45 minutes to an hour away. But this is the Miel BB, baby, I don't know. Um, jumbo perfume it's number 19 it's 2.5 fluid ounces yeah I don't know apparently I was on you know perfume side of TikTok or um, YouTube and I saw this big size and I was like $19 seems like a good deal for 2.5 fluid ounces I don't need this in my collection so I should use this um, up it smells good I can't tell you what the scent notes are 
it smells like summery but yeah so I got this I think the aesthetic they're aesthetically pleasing um but yeah this is what I got in my Ipsy Boxy Charm. This is the Mason Louise number 13, whatever, perfume oil. I've never tried a perfume oil, so that's why I was excited to get this. It smells very good, very like vanilla y. There's a bunch of different scent notes. I read that whenever I showed my Boxy Charm unboxing. Um, so yeah, this is like a recent into my collection, but I don't consider this a purchase. But I would say I've probably had this for like four months. Yeah. Next is a Nest perfume. These are like bougie, I think. But I got this so dusty. So, so dusty. I got this years ago um, on Sephora's website because I think it was like super cheap. Well, cheap for whatever Nest, Nest is expensive. But this is Cocoa Woods from Nest. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. I got it because it was on sale. I'm like, well, uh, I don't know. I just bought a lot of stupid stuff when I was young. I've literally had this for so long. But I always like think about pairing this with Bath and Body Works um, cocoa and cream, hot cocoa and cream. But then I just never get around to it. It's literally a chocolate perfume with other scent notes, obviously. But it's like literally like chocolate in a perfume. It's just so weird. So I've never worn it. The bottle's pretty, I guess, and it's bougie. But Paige, you don't need it. Like, what are you doing? Okay, I have two more that are not Bath and Body Works, and then we're gonna get into all. Oh, oh, sorry, three more. Uh, also so dusty so so dusty this has kind of a scent memory not a scent memory but just memory of purchasing it this is from the body shop this is black musk and this is actually an eau de toilette i think every other one i've shown you is a perfume and this is a toilette so this is 3.3 fluid ounces i actually bought this um you guys remember i was telling you like I, my mom used to take me whenever we were shopping. We would go to the body shop and it was like one of my favorite scents. And I never knew that they, I think it's like kind of like a semi-annual sale for them. Um, but yeah, I got this for like five or six dollars, which is crazy for a freaking like, it's a perfume, but it's a toilet. Um, like five or six bucks for this. I've probably had this for eight years or something and I've never worn it. Shocker, I've never worn it. But I know I love this scent. So I hope. Yeah, I do really like this scent. I just need to use these. I mean, they're just they're just really good. Yeah. Yeah, this is really good. But I literally paid like five bucks for this eight years ago. So I don't know. Um, next, second to last um, of my perfumes that are in Bath & Body Works. This is Amazing Grace Magnolia. I got this at Ulta online. They were having some sale or like gift with purchase that I was like, oh yeah, I need this. Or actually, I might be lying. I might have got this when I worked at Macy's and I used my discount after Christmas and I bought like a bunch of sets. I think this might have been in a set. It's pretty, I guess. It's a floral. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's like, I just can, I can use these up and get them out of my collection. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that this makes me realize that. Okay, lastly, this is a, um, KKW perfume I actually I'm trying to think back now Ulta actually had discounted a bunch of KKW perfumes um I think people thought it was a glitch but I think they were just like moving out perfumes um from the KKW line and they were ten dollars a piece which is crazy because they're like 40 bucks a piece I think and this is one fluid ounce but this is like the diamond one. The top, it does not fit on this. So I think I threw it away. I don't have it anymore. So it doesn't stand up because it's literally slanted on this side, if you can see. So another one with stupid packaging. And I have kept this in my bathroom because I wanted to use it up. Kind of smells like cottony. I don't know. But yeah, $10. Like that's still a really good deal for one fluid ounce um, of KKW. There's a bunch of scratches on here. And I want to say I got three of them. The one I really, really wanted, and it was like a 3.4 fluid ounce for $10. I can't, it was like in a froth. It was like the crystal one. That's what it was. And it was sold out. But I want to say I still ended up getting three or four of these. I think I had maybe a pink one and maybe a, like a more yellowy color I don't know I had like three or four and this is the only one I have left so I did I guess use up some perfumes because I had those ones the one was like a peach that was like in this like crystal form but or like diamond I don't know but yeah I have this one I should just use it up because it's not doing me any good now on to Bath and Body Works okay 
first. These are ones that aren't in boxes, and then I'll show you the ones that I have in boxes in that other container. We're almost at the end, I promise, kind of. Um, the first one is You're the One. I was so excited. I pretty much get all of these at SAS. Um, and this one was 3.4 fluid ounces, and it was 75% off when I got it. Um, like a lot of these, that's really the only time I buy perfume is when they're 75% off. Um, even though I wanted Chasing Fireflies, I would pay full price for that, and I'm surprised I still haven't done that because I really, really love that in the perfume and I feel like the longevity is totally worth it for the price because they're still on the cheaper end. Like they're like 39 to $49. That's still really good for a perfume, a 3.4 fluid ounce. Not that they, they don't all come out in a 3.4 fluid ounce, only some of them. So I love You're the One, you guys know that. This packaging is absolutely stunning. So yeah, I have not used this in perfume, but I've used it in body care. Um, literally got this for probably like 10 bucks that's crazy. So I love this and I have that. Next, kind of the same thing. So this is 3.4 fluid ounces. This is Gingham. So I took this out of the packaging. I kind of wish I would have kept the packaging, but it wasn't until I started accumulating more that I was like, oh, I probably should have kept them in their box, but I threw the boxes away. So this one's Gingham. I'm not, you know, a, a huge lover of Gingham. This one's actually 2.5. This is 3.4. This is 2.5, but it's still big. Um, Gangnam's just a very like universal scent. It's nothing super special, but it's very like Bath and Body Works-esque and I love the bottle. It's so pretty. So like 10 bucks for this probably. So that's just such a good deal for a perfume. Um, next are like these like 1.7 fluid ounce ones. This one's Dahlia. This is my mom's favorite scent. Um, I like this scent. It's like an apple. Super pretty, super pretty. I just feel like I shouldn't use these though. I feel like I should keep these ones. So I have Dahlia, I have In the Stars, which is an amazing scent. I have Hibiscus Paradise, which like came and went, but I do have this one. I have some body sprays left of this too. Um, and then lastly, this one was actually gifted to me by my friend here on YouTube, Sonia. Um, this is Poppy. And this packaging for this was so beautiful. That's why I wish I would have like kept these because it like blossomed like a flower. Um, yeah, Poppy. I can't really smell it, but like this packaging is so pretty. It's kind of like getting like marks on it from not being in the box. But yeah, this is a really pretty packaging. Okay, so that was everything out of this basket. Now we will get on to the last basket, which is the boxes. I'm just going to move this over because I'll have room. Okay, first, Gangnam Love. I'm actually using this in the body care right now. So I've thought about pulling this out um, to use because I feel like the body care, I mean, I should save this for my empties, but like, like this discussion, but I feel like the body care is does not last like at all. I'm wearing it right now and like I just, I, I, I'll smell myself and I, like my wrist or whatever, and I just don't smell it. So I thought about pulling this out so I can use it with that and enjoy it more, but also I don't need to like use them hand in hand. I can use this with like any body lotion later on down the road because I just, I don't need to use it right now. So this is the same packaging as this Gangnam. Um, so super pretty. Uh, and yeah, I want to say these were 59, uh, but they were in this beautiful packaging. So I kept it obviously. Um, yeah, and I want to say I got them for 75% off and then I had like a 20% off and then I just kept fine. Oh, actually, sorry, I moved you. Remember, I just remembered this. I got one of these at the outlet for like $2 because it was on the $3 table, I think. And then I had like a 20, 20 or 25% off. I got it for like two bucks. I forgot about that. So one of these is from that. And I keep saying one because I have... three somehow have three of them I really should like probably gift one of these at some point for somebody's birthday or something but yeah I got one of these for two bucks and then the other two I paid like ten dollars for which is still such a good deal in this packaging like Bath and Body Works really hit it out of the park with the packaging because they're just beautiful uh, but they're all the same bottle okay next I have Gangnam Vibrant I waited and waited I was hoping this went 75% off and I ran to my store after work one day and I found it they had like maybe three or four bottles I still kind of wish that I bought more than one um but this packaging beautiful and oh, look at that it's so pretty because it is the same style as this so they just look so nice together 
I just feel like it would be so hard for me to ever use this because this packaging is stunning. This one is also $59.95, but yeah, I paid like 10 or 12 bucks for it. So such a freaking steal, okay? I'm gonna try not to move you. Okay, um, this is Love Always Wins. This one was $59.95. This is 3.4 fluid ounces. Um, I used the body care in this and was not impressed, but I'm hoping that the perfume, you know, gives me some more longevity and I don't have anything in this scent anymore, but I'm, I don't know. I just wanted it. I've been wanting it. So when I found it at SAS, I was like, I have to get it. It's like a unisex, lemony, clean scent. The packaging isn't like the most stunning, um, but yeah, I like wanted this for a really long time. And then when I saw it at SAS, even though I used... Like I loved, I loved the packaging of this. I loved it. I thought I sm loved it, the smell of it. And then I used it and then I didn't love it. But then I saw the perfume and I was like, I wanted this. So like, let me just get it and hope that it's more strong than the body care that I used. Anyway, that's enough of that. Then I have a gingham that's in a box. And actually, let me open this for you. The packaging is totally different. So I know I keep referencing this gangnam, but he's just really shining today. So it is actually like a matte packaging. So yeah, I feel like I could just have all my ganglums together and it would just be so pretty, but I also don't want to take them out of the box. So I don't know, but yeah, I don't know. Something about the gangnam just, I love. But then also I'm thinking now, and I've thought this before, if I like cared about them that much and like wanted to keep them all for like collector's purposes, I would have bought the green and the pink version of this probably at full price so that I had them. Um, I never saw those go 75% off, so I didn't get them. But like, if I cared that much, you would think that I'd have the pink and the green one and I just don't. And I don't think they don't sell them anymore. So like, it's not possible to get them. And I'm not getting on Mercari because it's not that big of a deal. It's not. Okay. Then I have Endless Sea. Um, I literally just showed this <laughs> whenever I filmed. Um, my SAS haul, but yeah, this one is a 1.7 fluid ounce in Endless Sea. And then going off of that, I also have Wild Sand. So these like came out together. They weren't anything special. I feel like there was not a lot of hype around them because they weren't that special, but I did get both of them because I wanted them in my collection. I actually have another You're the One, but in the packaging. So I'm going to keep this one in the packaging, but it's that same bottle style like I already showed you. I have a champagne toast. The girl, I bought two of these when I bought them, 75% off at SAS, of course. Um, I bought two of them. My friend really wanted one, the girl that I work with. Um, and it's in the same packaging as my other one. So I feel like, like that's why I want to keep it. But she's also asked me about buying about buying this off of me. And because I'm not a huge champagne toast girly and it's like her all time favorite. And she loved that I found this for her. Um, like the one that I... I, I sold to her, like I just told her how much it was and she gave me the money. Um, I still am debating on uh, on selling this to her. Um, yeah, cause I know she'll just enjoy it so much more than I will. We'll see, okay. Um, this one's crazy. This is Forever Red. I actually found this during SAS. I, you guys know I've, lo I've loved and been collecting and like, you know, having a stock of Bath and Body Works since probably like 2020. Cause it was about the time like I met Jared or not, like I started dating Jared. Um, I found this an hour away from me during SAS. I actually found two of them and I'm pretty sure I sold one. I did sell one cause this is the only one I have. But I remember having this, I think I had like the, they had a, like a, a different version of this, I believe. I don't know, maybe, I think it was this one. But I think when they came out with Forever Red, they have like a forever red warm or like, I don't know. I, I want to say there was a different version. I don't know. I might be wrong, but I know I had this in a body mist and it had this same um, thing and it was like square and tall. It was a body mist, whereas this is the perfume, but I had this listed on my Mercari and then I just, I'm awful with shipping stuff. I haven't sold anything on Mercari in forever, but like I paid like, next I paid like dollars for this it was so cheap at 75% off and then I think it scanned even less um but yeah I feel like I should just keep it for like nostalgia purposes because this is like crazy old it 
has a seven. So I think it's from 2007. Like I don't even think this is from 27. It might be from 2017. 2007 seems too far. Maybe 2017, but I was still thinking it was like older than that. But I remember like when this came out. Yeah, I should just keep it forever. But I have this in the box. It's so pretty. Okay, and then last but not least, I did end up getting Dream Bright. I have this in body care. I didn't go head over heels. You're hearing, I brought stuff down to do my nails after this video. Um, I wasn't crazy over the body care. I did buy the body care, and I think I even bought a second set of the body care because um, it was 75% off the last SAS. Um, but yeah, I ended up just getting this perfume because it was 75% off and why not? It actually would look really pretty with my Forever Red because they're like, I think the same, yeah, same bottle style. Oh, pretty. Okay. Yeah. This has like a scratch on it and it's been in the box, but it's probably because people like took it out and stuff. It has this little gem on it. Yeah. This is pretty. So like, even if I'm not like in love with the scent, if I find the perfume at 75% off, I'm clearly buying it because <laughs> that's what all of these are from. So yeah, that was the end. That was the very last perfume that I have. So I don't even care to like count how many I have. It's fine. I can count them on my own. But like moral of the story is <laughs> I'm so excited about the Zara perfumes I got. I can't wait to like display them on top of my new Alex 9 drawers. They're not actual Alex 9. They're from... um home depot but they're like the same thing and i've been wanting them literally probably since i was like 16 years old watching youtube uh, but now that i have my own house and my own money i bought that ish off home depot for like 80 bucks jared and i spent like four hours putting that together well mostly jared i just sat there um but i love those drawers so much and i um put all my perfumes like on top of it um so i'm so excited to add my zara perfumes to that um yeah, I have like more, I have drawers that are actually empty, which is surprising because I thought I had like a lot more makeup, but I've been going through my stuff, using my makeup, finding stuff that I actually like like and like I think looks good on my skin. I'm actually wearing like a, it's that Maybelline like 4-in-1 per perfecter thing. It's like a primer, which I still put a primer on. It's like a primer, a bronzer, a highlighter, like all in one type of thing. I don't know. But it actually like gives some color and it's actually really pretty. And I was just trying to like use it up because I'm like, this is a stupid product. Like, what am I gonna use this for? But it actually like looks so pretty. And then I just put concealer on and I just like love it. Like I actually think it looks really pretty and like glowy. So I might have accidentally fell in love with it, is what I'm saying. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, is this a big perfume collection? Like, cause I don't, I just don't, I don't know. I just, I said that I get on the perfume side of TikTok, but like not enough to where like I consistently watch. Um, sometimes I'll watch like scent combinations or whatever they call those videos because I try to like give myself ideas for if I could get into that. But clearly I do sometimes do that. Cause like this, I have mixed it with my other body care that I have in my collection. Uh, but yeah, I really do want to use my perfumes even if I just, I think my problem is I need to focus on not using it up, just using them and enjoying them. Like I said, on my days off, the days that I make plans, you know, whatever it may be. So that's all for my video. Hopefully you'll be seeing some of these things in my empties, you know, in the future, not next month, but like, I, yeah, just leave me any comments down below. You guys know I love chit chatting with you guys. I don't do so much in the comments, which I should. I don't know. I guess I do reply but I just like reading them. So even if I don't reply, I just love reading them and I'll heart all of my com comments as long as they're nice and not mean. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.